Now, have you wondered why people decide to live on hills instead of level ground? How about the safety precautions when constructing a building on a hilltop? What about the cost involved in putting up a structure on the hill? This subsequent report filed by our reporter Daniel Odromensa delves into the rising pension for residing on hilltops and assesses the safety involved. Unpredictable rainfall patterns and days of continuous rain could spell doom for communities at the edge of the hill and, to some extent, those on top of it. This is according to stakeholders within the engineering industry who are assessing the dangers of living on hilltops. According to them, a major catastrophe awaits people who reside in such areas. Despite this note of caution, what may be the overriding factors behind people choosing to erect buildings on hills. I visited Broadcasting Top, an area near Botiano within the Gasalt Municipal Assembly, a community with quite a number of buildings on hills, to assess the situation. I met Bright Asma, a mason who has been building on hills for seven years. He cited comfort as a key driver for anyone intending to build on hills. Um, the <laughs> The Dennis is so now you're rich. I said, Won't you meet? Two be a super possible than be a cousin in the panel, a rich man. Super possible. Chief. In my attempt to inquire about the cost, he estimated between 40,000 and 50,000 cities as a charge for building a three bedroom property on the hill. The person I have to buy for them will cost. I did be all the couple proposal. I did be all about for blood cry, the form of the over flow, so overcharge resident abc noted that Despite the safety of living in the area, climbing and descending the hill to his residence is a form of exercise for him. And, uh, the pressure and all that. Uh, I'm getting energy. So, yeah. okay. Another resident, Elijah Ando, who has been living in the area for six years, cited proximity to his workplace as a chief reason for living on the hilltop. If I take my workplace to Broadcast Junction, it be three cities. Sometimes they take uh, four cities. So if I take a, a taxi to broadcast it to my place, it be six cities. So in and out, it be twenty Ghana. Or uh, sometimes it, it can be a nine cities. So if I pass here, I'll go just a thirty minute at the house. Meanwhile, civil engineer Abdullah Mahama urged city authorities to be mindful of issuing permits to individuals who intend to construct buildings near high areas of land with very steep sides, as such areas are prone to disaster. Shell buildings, other areas which are so I mean, dangerous to you look at closer to the cliffs, I mean, to the, the closeness to the mountain areas, as well as the, the cliff, and then where we have fractured areas. Obviously, you don't have to put, and you see that if you have an area where you, you know the next two rains will bring, I mean, the salt to those underneath. Unless those areas are re-engineered, those loose materials are actually taken away, well compacted and grass, so that when it rains, you see only free flowing of water down. That would be a, a, a solution. But as it is, if those things are not cleared, it becomes very dangerous for people to be resident directly under, like a, now you are going to be the receptor of those mud mats when they actually fall. And you know those areas come on the, I mean, the seismic lines. So it means that the least uh, F tremor 
we have the mountain to be disturbed. Efforts to get authorities from the municipality to comment on the situation were unsuccessful. Residents living on hills or anyone planning to build there should prioritize safety, even though hilltop shelters offer comfort. City authorities are strongly advised to monitor construction near cliffs. For Channel One Newsroom, my name is Daniel Udrow Mensah.